Here's what you need to know if you've been prescribed lidoderm patches, also known by the generic name lidocaine. Some people who get shingles experience a long-term complication called postherpetic neuralgia. This is a deep nerve pain that occurs in the area where the shingles rash was. Lidoderm patches numb the nerves so they're less sensitive to pain. It only relieves pain in the area underneath the patch, so it's not for pain that you might have all throughout your body. If you have postherpetic neuralgia, you'll typically use the prescription strength lidoderm. Some lidocaine patches are also available over the counter for temporary relief of minor pain caused by other issues. Lidoderm is a patch that you apply to the most painful area of skin. Wash your hands after applying. For prescription lidoderm, you can leave a patch on for up to 12 hours and then remove your 12 hours before applying a new patch. Over-the-counter lidocaine patches have different dosing, so check the directions on the box. Don't apply the patch to areas with open cuts or wounds. Also, don't use a heating pad or electric blanket over the patch. Both of these mistakes may cause you to absorb too much of the medication, which can cause side effects. You can cut the patches if you want it to fit a smaller area. If you need to fit a bigger area, you can use up to three lidoderm patches at once. Don't reuse a lidoderm patch. They're single use only. To throw it away safely, fold it in half with the sticky sides together. Make sure a child or pet cannot get to the discarded patch. Side effects you may or may not experience include bruising, burning sensation, dry or itchy skin, peeling skin, changes in skin color, and bumps, spots, or blisters. Don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist or prescriber about affordability. These days, there are many low-cost ways to get your medication. 